really like to do quilting blocks in my Solaris. And I like it whenever I can create a quilting design around an embroidery design. The design that I've just stitched, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to create my quilting design around Jenny Henny, which is a free design you can grab over at embroideryshop.com. So I'm gonna go into embroidery. I'm going to select my memory pocket. And I have a flash drive attached to my machine. So I'm gonna choose that icon. That's where my design is. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. Here's my Henny Jenny, and I stitched her out with the five by seven size. So we'll select her. I'm gonna go ahead and set the design. And now I'm gonna select edit. We're gonna to go to the bottom of the edit choices. You're gonna find the little flower outline. Now it'll allow us to see an outline around our embroidery design. Now, Henny Jenny is a little bit different. She has a bee flying around her. And you'll notice how the outline comes right here on the inside of the little path of the bee. Now, I don't want to have just a little bit of a quilting motif within that area because I think it's just not big enough for it. So which one I'm going to do? I'm going to go up to distance and I'm going to make the outline around Henny Jenny a little larger you're going to see a change of the outline. It's gonna take and blend this outer area line with this outer area line. And I'm just making that happen by making the distance larger. So now look how my outline is all the way on the outer edge of Henny Jenny. And that's exactly what I want. So now that I have that done, we're gonna place it in memory. My machine's gonna tell me where I can recall that outline that I just created around our design. It's gonna be able to be recalled from the IQ Designer Stamp Pattern List. And it's gonna look just like this icon right here. I love it the way the machine makes it really easy for us. So we're gonna to touch OK. And now I'm gonna go back to my home screen up in that upper right hand corner. We're gonna select IQ Designer. We're gonna go into our stamp icon, the one that has the circle and the square, and I'm gonna share with you my process of accomplishing what we're doing today. I'm gonna to choose the icon that looks like an embroidery frame with a red plus sign in the center. I've stitched out Henny Jenny in a nine and a half by nine and a half inch frame, so I'm gonna choose that frame size. We'll touch okay. And now the square appears on the screen. Now I want this to stitch as a straight stitch. I could have selected that before I created my square, but now we're gonna go up and just touch that line property icon. We'll choose our straight stitch. I'm gonna make it green. We'll touch okay. I'm gonna highlight my fill cup. I'm gonna move my cursor over to where the line is and select, I'll click it, and now it's turned to green. Now, because I wanna create a placement stitch and a tack down stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and put this square in memory. In that lower right-hand corner, I'll just touch memory and I'll place it in the memory of the machine on the IQ side. We'll now touch next. And if you'll notice, I now have my machine in inches and I like to apply my stitch length when I'm looking at metric. So we'll go up to our setting screen slip over to page nine, change it from inches to metric, we'll touch okay, and now we can see our stitch length in metric. And I'm gonna bring that up to 2.5. We'll touch okay. We'll set it and okay once again. And now we're over on the embroidery side of the machine. All right, so now I've just created my placement square. So let's touch add in the lower left hand corner. We're going to go back to the IQ designer. You'll find that over there in the lower right hand corner. And in the upper right hand corner now on the screen of the IQ, we're going to bring that square that we just placed in memory, we're going to bring it out again. So we don't have to recreate it from the beginning. So by clicking the icon with a little 
memory pocket brings up our memory in the IQ Designer. So here's the square that we just created. So I'm going to touch that. We'll touch OK. I also want this square to be a straight stitch. So let's go back into our line property. Straight stitch. We'll choose a purple color this time. We'll touch OK. My fill cup in my line property is highlighted. We'll touch and select the line. It's turned purple. And now we're going to touch next. I'll change my stitch length once again. Touch OK. And set. And OK. So now we have our placement stitch, our tack down stitch. Now let's go ahead and create our quilting motif. So we'll touch add in that lower left hand corner. Once again, we'll go back into IQ in the right hand bottom corner. And I'm gonna go back into my memory pocket. We'll choose the square that we placed in memory to make sure we have the same size each time. I don't want this line to stitch any line. I just want it to be just a barrier line on the outside of my quilting motif. So we'll go back into our line property. I'm gonna choose a no stitch line. We'll touch okay. We'll highlight our fill cup and touch the square once again. So now we're gonna go back into our stamp key where you have the circle and the square. And we're going to go into the little flower area, the little icon that looks like a flower. That's our outline icon. And that's where we're going to retrieve that outline that we created over on the embroidery side of the machine around our little Henny Jenny. You'll see Henny Jenny in that upper left hand corner and you see that she has an outline around her. So we're going to select Henny Jenny. She's going to turn blue. We'll touch OK. And now you'll see that outline appear on your workspace. Now we need to go choose a beautiful decorative fill. Now we're gonna select our fill icon. We're gonna choose the third icon. That'll bring us to where we can choose those decorative fills. We'll touch select. Let's choose one of our newest decorative fills that you have gotten in your upgrade two or your Solaris two. I'm going to choose 040. It looks like a lattice, and to me that's kind of fitting for our little Henny Jenny. So we'll touch OK and OK again. Now we want to select our little fill cup below our decorative fill. We'll select and touch the workspace outside the outline of Henny Jenny and inside the square that we've created. And there we have our quilting motif. Let's go ahead and touch next. Now when I'm quilting, I like to use the thickness feature. So if you go all the way down to the bottom and you see these lower four little circles, let's touch that icon and it pops up our choice to where we can choose to stitch our decorative fill less stitch intensity, which is the thinner setting. And that's what I like to choose when I am creating any quilting around a design. So we'll touch OK. We'll touch Set and OK once again. And now we're over on the embroidery side of the machine. So we'll touch Embroidery in the lower right hand corner. And now because I ripped away some stabilizer behind my hoop, I want to just make sure that I still have the the design and the fill position to where it's going to nestle around the embroidery design that I've already stitched. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my projector by touching the icon right there in that upper right hand corner. So what I want to do is take my finger onto the screen and place my finger on the screen inside the rectangle and just move it around ever so slightly. And so now I'm just looking up here on my workspace, just wanna make sure that none of my quilting motif is gonna stitch on top of my design. I like getting that real time view of where our design is going to stitch. So again, as I come around, you'll notice that my quilting motif 
is not on top of my embroidery design. So again, I'm just auditioning all the way around the design itself. Everything looks good. I think I'm pretty happy with it. So here's how I was moving it around while you were watching me on our design. The first thing that's going to stitch is our placement stitch that we created in the beginning. So let's go ahead and stitch that. Now that we've stitched our placement stitch, we're gonna flip the frame over to the back. Now, you'll notice that here I have my placement stitch stitched. It's gonna be a little hard for y'all to see because I stitched in a white, but oops. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our square that we've cut and we're gonna place it within that square, within that placement square that we've stitched. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of pet it a little bit I cut my batting to nine and a half inches and I cut my fabric, my backing fabric to 10 inches. So now I'm gonna take, once I have placed my batting, and now I'm gonna take my backing fabric and just gonna smooth it around. Just smooth it around. And then I'm gonna come in and just temporarily place some tape on the back. back edges, so we're, we're just going to temporarily attach our quilt square with some tape, just long enough to where we'll be able to stitch that tack down stitch with our machine. And it's always real important, I'm gonna move this one down just a little bit. It's always real important that you make sure your tape is not peeling up. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over. And now that I have it flipped over, I'm just gonna run my fingers around the edges to where I've placed the tape to give it just a little extra firmness to make sure my tape is attached. So now that we've got our batting and our backing temporarily attached on the back, we're gonna take it over to our machine and do our tack down stitches to attach the batting and the backing. Next, we're attaching that batting and backing. I removed the tape and now it's time to stitch our quilting motif. Kenny Jenny's all trimmed up and ready to go. Don't you just really love the way that quilting motif finishes flat fabric? It just really makes it mine. It brings it to life and it gives it such character. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be off to create some blocks on your own.